going to happen in this game, these guys are going to tell a story, but they're only going to be able to speak when I'm pointing at them. Uh, when I move on to the next person, uh, they, the next person will have to carry on from exactly where the previous person left off, even if that's midway through a word. Uh, if they fail to do this, we'd like all of you, please, to shout the word die. You practice this for me one time. One, two, three. Die! die. It sounds better in a demon voice. One, two, three. Die! die. Um, so, uh, basically, if you feel that they fail to carry on from when the previous person left off, you'll shout. Die! Some of you don't know where this is going. Uh, if you feel that they've hesitated for too long, you will shout. Die! Uh, if one character has been given an accent by one player and a different player fails to carry that accent on, you will shout. Die! Uh, if you just don't care for them very much, you'll shout. Die! It works, they're here whether you like it or not. Now, uh, what we're going to need for this story, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, a famous person, please. Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton. Weirdly, that's never been shouted to these kids before in four years. Uh, a, a fictional sidekick for her, please. Right. Dr. Watson. <laughs> <laughs> Millhouse. Millhouse. <laughs> that's more interesting to me than we've done Sherlock an awful lot. Uh, right, good. Uh, can I have something unusual that they might be looking for, please? Skittles. Skittles. A hovercraft full of eels. <laughs> well, I asked for unusual, and the hovercraft full of eels has won the day. <laughs> uh, I can have a non geographic location where you might look for a hovercraft full of eels. On the landing. On the landing. On the landing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the question from the top of the stage. Yeah, no, fair enough. So, Harris Hilton and Millhouse from The Simpsons are looking for a hovercraft full of eels on the landing. Uh, chapter one. So Paris went up the stairs and got to the hovercraft full of eels. Which he found instantly, which kind of defeated the object. But that was, that was it. She looked at this hovercraft full of eels and went, there's something missing in my life. It's Millhouse! <laughs> ah, Harris Hilton, you'd always want a Millhouse Van Houten to go with me everywhere. I've always wanted a Millhouse, and now i found one in this old crap full of eels. Which was sat on top of the landing. Millhouse stuck in the pile of eels, writhing. Going, help me, Paris, help me, I'm stuck. And she went, am I dreaming? What is this? <laughs> I found this hovercraft full of eels. It was like, no, help me, Paris, help me, help me in this millhouse voice. It's actually full of water. I mean, this is full of eels, but I can't breathe. Come on, smash Oh, help me, Paris, I'm going to die. And she wrenched millhouse out of the eels and onto the landing. <laughs> Upon which she died. <laughs> Lying in the hotel bed after smoking the Paris lit a cigarette and went, we should probably clean up all these eels in this hovercraft. We're not going to get our uh, room uh, cleaned and tidy, ready for the event later on in the hotel. We need to do our Trump Towers. You know, the event, the cake event, with the cakes, different kinds of cakes, like butterscotch and jam and creamy cakes. Cakes with cement in. Pulling out two of his teeth. But yes, we'll go down there. We should just clean up this wreckage here. We destroyed the hovercraft in our. In our rage of glory. Yes, frantic sex. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's time to sweep it up and. And forget about the fun we had with the eels rolling around our bodies, slithering around. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's so good having those eels all over us. Particularly because they were electric. <laughs> <laughs> they stung, but it stung good. I didn't know I had that fetish for the electric shocks, but now I know I do. And now I know that I do, it's important that I find out more about my fetishes. Come on, Millhouse, let's go down. Let's go down to the electric town. <laughs> <laughs> Having cleared up Paris Hilton's mess at the Paris Hilton Hotel, <laughs> they went outside into the sunshine which bathed their skin and made it sheen with eel glue. <laughs> <laughs> and it was still covering themselves. We should have showered, said Paris. Hill <laughs> House, I like it. Like this, I like it slimy and slippery when I walk down the street, dripping all over the pavement. <laughs> Let's go and find some fun. Um, yes, we shall go and find some fun, said Millhouse. <laughs> I 
know exactly where to go, he said. I know a small club for specialist interests. <laughs> People who like eels and other sort of... Um, it's called the Goldfish Bar. They serve all of the kinds of eels and goldfish and whales and sharks. You can rub up against them for as long as you <laughs> like. It's like Yo Sushi. They go around and... <laughs> <laughs> Or just slap yourself around the face. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, it's all cool. Everyone in there is groovy. I once slapped myself in the face with a puffer fish, said Milhouse, trying to impress her. Uh, well, she was having none of it because she said, I once walked out of there with a lobster clinging onto both nipples. <laughs> an eyelid. Wow, said Milhouse. He was impressed by Paris Hilton's uh, fetish. <laughs> <laughs>